All right, we're gonna be floating this one today. We're gonna to go over what you need to actually float these walls. We already did the paper lap and scratch yesterday. So I'm gonna explain uh, putting up your sticks, squaring it, plumbing it, all that good stuff. But first we will go over what you need. So you need a mud board, it's just a piece of plywood. You wet that down, that's what your mud's gonna go on there. A flat trowel, and you need a hawk. You're gonna need some mud. A mixer, some buckets, straight edges, and a square. Also going to need some float strips. So the first thing I like to do before we start putting our sticks up is check the walls and just get an idea of how plumb they are. So this one's not too bad. You can see how far it is off the scratch. We're gonna be able to stay nice and tight there. Come over here. And you can see just the top needs to go out just a touch, uh, but not bad. I think we're gonna end up starting on this wall here. We wanna stay pretty, pretty close to the drywall, pretty flush with that, so we don't have some kind of pop out. That's one of the reasons we like going off the studs. As you can see, this wall is pretty plumb already. Um, so we're going to be able to stay fairly flush to the drywall where if you go off board then you have a return on the edge but that's one of the reasons we like going off these studs like that so we'll, we're going to start floating on this wall normally we would start on the back wall but we're going to start floating on this wall um, it's not that much out of square so when we do square it up the return of the window is going to be a little bit off it's going to grow but I think this being a focal point being nice and clean and, and having a minimal return on it is going to be the best for us so we're gonna start floating here, square it up, come around to this wall. See this wall's at an angle here. So we're gonna cut our mud off to continue that angle. And then there'll just be minimal drywall work to uh, feather that in once we are all tiled up. So, all right, next step, we're gonna start putting the sticks up. So Eddie's gonna mix up some mud here. And like I said, we're using the mixer with two old top this here. And then wet some of these sticks down. You wanna wet these uh, float strips down so that it doesn't suck the moisture out of the mud and dry to the wood so that when we remove these, it takes out as minimal mud as possible. Okay, so we're gonna wet the board down too. Same principle as the float strips. We don't want this wood sucking the moisture out of the mud, drying out too quick. So we wet this down before we put our mud on there. And then Eddie will bring that in and just slop it on there. And we're ready to go. stick up what we're gonna do is go nice and thin here. we want to press it into our scratch really push it into there because we don't want this to go anywhere so we really gotta embed it into our scratch like so And then as we do that, we'll get all the way to the top and then we're gonna add a little more because that's what we're gonna embed our stick into. So we're gonna build this out just a bit, use the level and a rubber mallet to tamp it in, make sure we're perfectly plumb before we move on to the next stick. Now I'm just gonna go through, add a little bit of mud like so. And this is the part where you can be a little extra with your mud, because if you don't put enough on there and you're starting to plumb it out and you're like, oh, I gotta add more, then you gotta pop it off and redo this whole process. I like to add a little extra, a little more than I actually need. 
so that when I do tamp it in, that just falls down and kind of clean that up. But at least we're only doing it one time. All right, so he's got my stick here. It's nice and wet. So now we're just gonna press this in to our mud, like so. All right, now we plumb it. Grab our level and I gotta go find where the rubber mallet is. Okay, we do not have a rubber mallet, even though we have like eight of them, so this is our rubber mallet today. Hopefully I don't screw up and flip it around on accident, but here we go. I'm just gonna tamp this in until we are as tight to the wall as we're gonna be. while being plumb. So we're gonna get the stick nice and flat and as tight to the wall as possible. Okay. So now, I don't know if you can see that, we gotta go in at the top and make this nice and plumb. Get close. Just a little more. So there it is, nice and plumb. We're completely flat on the stick. Nice and plumb, I can go just a touch more. Just a touch. Nice and plumb. All right, so now we move on to the next stick. What I wanna do is I'm gonna check this with a straight edge, a square, and another straight edge, because I wanna see if we build this out and stay more flush to this drywall here and what that does to this back wall. So we're gonna check it real quick, see if we gotta be tight out a little more to make sure our square just keeps going around without this getting bigger and bigger and bigger. All right. Just put the squares tight up against the wall. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, so he's up against the stick there. To come out a bit. So that would be square. So if we build this one out a little bit, then you can see back here, we got a little bit of whoop here, but the corners are tight. So we're just gonna build this out about a half inch or so right here and keep this back wall real tight. All right. So grab this excess down here. It is still good, it's fresh. Try to get it as quickly as possible. All right. 
All right, so we're gonna start with this stick, and as you saw when we put the square on there, we're gonna go real tight here, and then after that stick's set, we're gonna square it up once more. All right, so we got our back wall stick on. Now we are gonna see what we gotta do. So it's tight, it's tight. Okay. So now you can see it's gonna be real tight up against this wall here. Basically the thickness of that float strip. And we got a nice little belly there, but we're gonna fix all that up. We got our last stick up. We are gonna make sure it's nice and plumb and then we will check it and make sure we're square, see what else we gotta do. <clears throat> what do you think, Eddie? We sh I think we need a whole new set of level there. <laughs> so the new set of Stabella's. Stabella, if you're watching. So yeah, we gotta go in a little bit here. Just a bit. That's uh, looking pretty good to me. Just a little bit more. And there we have it. Make sure we're flat the whole way down. Looks pretty good. Just a touch out right here. Just a touch. All right, that's nice and plumb. Okay, now let's see if we guessed right and that is nice and square as well. Okay. This stick is a little crooked there. That's okay. Right, let's see what we got here. Gotta come out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, we can try to tamp that in, but it looks like we need to come out just that little bit there. So I'll pop that stick, add a little bit more mud, we'll check it again, and we should be good. Yeah, that's pretty quick. Just popping the stick, and now we will make it nice and plumb again. There, just a touch. Just a little more. That's pretty good there. Oop, too much. That looks nice. So, just make it a little bit right there. Okay, let's check it again. Like a, not even a 64th. Let's see. We just gotta tamp that just a bit. I'll just give it a few taps and we are nice and square. filling in between these sticks here but before I do that we're gonna make a little bridge above the niche because when we get back to this side filling this in we want this to be pretty solid because that's what we're gonna be stacking our mud off of there so we just go across here same same thing nice and thin 
really burn it into your scratch. Another thing this is going to allow us to do is let this set up nice and solid and we're going to be able to cut this edge on top of the niche nice and clean. So now we'll just build it out. Add some thin, thin coats to it. You see we never scratched the back of the niche either or the sides or anything because we're not exactly positive where we want to end this with our layout. We're doing uh, three by six subways. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that how it is because we might want to build this out quite a bit or keep it really, really thin depending on the layout. So that's why we don't scratch none of that. gonna sort of check make sure I'm built out far enough see I need a little bit more right in the middle there So we're going to let that set up and move on to this wall over here. We're going to start filling this. First I'm going to kind of clean the pan up a little bit. You see some extra junk on the on the pan. So we'll get this clean, hit reset, and then uh, start filling that. Alright, so I'm going to cut this, see where we're at. Um, and then, like I said, you'll be able to see the low spots in it. So you're just going to slide it back and forth. You don't want to drag it because that's going to pull mud out and leave pits. So you just want to slide it back and forth just like that. You see we got quite a bit of excess on there so it don't look like we're going to be filling anything. Throw that right back on the wall. A little pass here. Hit there, a little low spot. Add some. And leave that, we'll just keep going up. Get to the top, I'll cut all that, we'll check it, and that's about it. So just fill, cut it, fill, cut it. Find your low spots, your defects. Slap some mud in them, cut it again later. So going around the pipes, all you're going to do is just angle your straight edge, like so. And 
and then we'll go that way. We got a low spot, so I'll just fill that right now before we even start to cut that. But you can see this low spot here. How it doesn't look the same as everything else. That's so low, low. Good to go, but man, you look how nice and flat that is. So we'll cut that. We're gonna leave the stuff close. You see, we won't be able to get it all. <clears throat> We're gonna leave that until the wall really sets up. So we'll move around, get this all cut, come back here um, later when this wall is pretty set up, nice and firm like the sticks were earlier, and put this on nice and flat, and you can go around and cut up against your pipes and everything. So. I'll show you that towards the end of the video. Um, yeah, because we still got a little bit of work to do, huh? All right, so we'll get back cutting this thing. So now on this side, I'm going to angle it this way. Get nice close to the fixture. And be able to cut all that mud away. And you can see that section right underneath. Looks the way it's supposed to look now, nice and flat. Just keep going. All right. Yeah, looking pretty good. So you can see this is nice and cut. Um, pretty flat. Looks good. We're gonna we're gonna leave these chunks here, like I said, until this sets up a little bit more. We'll come back pop these sticks, fill those, cut the rest of that, cut the wall, that'll be good. But we won't do that until we come around, fill up this wall, fill up this wall, and then we'll come back and pop the sticks. All right, so we got this wall here cut, that wall cut, it's all floated. We're not gonna do anything with the windows. We're gonna just cut off the, the excess mud a little bit. Um, not do much there, because when we pop these sticks, we'll fill the sticks. And then when we tile, we'll tile out to where we need to be and that gives us a nice edge just to pack with mud, cut it off, and stick the tile to it. So instead of wasting time doing these corners and things in the niche and around the window, we'll just start tiling, mud it while we're tiling, and then stick the tile. Um, saves a lot of time during the prep, and then it gets you exactly where you need to be, and you don't have an instance where like, oh shit, we're out a little bit too far, and now you gotta cut mud away or whatnot. So I'm gonna cut this wall. Uh, Eddie's making one last bucket of mud, fill this in, We'll cut it, let it set up a little bit, grab something to drink, and then uh, pop these sticks and finish cutting all the other little little parts of it. So we got a little bit up there too. I didn't want to do anything up there because uh, how it is on the ceiling is it's real hard to push it into a lath up top. So let that set up a little bit more because I don't want to start cutting and have it pull out on me. So similar to the valves down here, we'll just let that set up. Be one of the last things that we cut and then we are good to go. So we got our bridge, what I said we put in earlier, you can see that that mud set up. It's hard, so that's what we're kind of going off of and we'll burn it into it, but you can see this mud's real soft. But our bridge is nice and solid. So we'll just throw it up there. We can burn right over the top of it. Let me know that's not gonna come sliding off the wall or anything. So I'll finish filling that, we'll cut it. Oh, I cut all that, clean up.
Look at that Woody. 